may this be the beginning and not the end of a journey together. Another young adult on the journey to healing is Casey. Recently separated, he's finding it difficult to cope with being out of work, taking care of his two young children. I feel like when I'm back, in, uh, back at home, this seems like unbearable sometimes, that I want to drown myself in uh, alcohol or something. It gets depressing. I basically came from a, a divorced parents. And I fear that uh, that's where I'm going to. And I don't want that because I have two very beautiful children at home. <laughs> they deserve what, what I didn't have. I want to stop this alcohol abuse that I have and this anger. Being out on the land has helped Casey get a new perspective. I kind of forgot a little bit about skinning, you know, respecting the land, and respecting the animals that we hunt. Should we chew and get stay now? Uh, can be mum eating us as in bad seven. I know she will eat some us. So she's me. What should we do that stand? We will not. Go back and be a productive father. I want to be more the same here when I go back. Happier. When we were in the bush, uh, he, when he opened up, he talked about how he, how everything has changed him. How being up there has made him realize that, you know, it gave him hope to move on. He was talking about his grandfather, uh, late Albert Manscom, uh, who was a leader in this community. And I'm sure he'd be able to follow in his grandfather's footsteps. And for him to say that he wants to be chief one day, I believe that. <laughs> I got to know them personally, everyone in each of them. and. Uh, they're, they're good people. I see myself in them. I know for a fact that they, they too can change their lives around and for the better. I saw the youth uh, talking to each other. You know, there was such an interaction, intimate, deep interaction. Everything was worth it. I think we saw tremendous success. a lot of motivation from uh, the ones that participated. Uh, even the ones that kind of uh, came back here and, so to speak, fell off the wagon. But, uh, you know, they came to me and they, they, they do want to move on. And I hope and pray that they, they will do that. I mean, I believe in them. And I told them that uh, you people are going to be the leaders in the, in the future. the more we share our cultures, the more we share our dreams, our, our hopes for the future, the more we do that, the better our nation is going to be. 
in spite of all the stories we've heard about Aboriginal youth and Aboriginal uh, issues, uh, there, there really is a good side.